What does love and logic teach about kids who love to suck up parents and their teachers into power struggles that can't be won? What do we teach? Well, uh, first of all, how much sense does it make to have this little conversation with a kid? Kid says, not fair. I, I shouldn't have to do any chores. None of my friends have to do chores. Well, listen, young man, when I was a kid, I had to walk uphill to school through the snow and, and we didn't have shoes back then and now how many <laughs> but that's stupid every, every parent says that that's not true well it is too true and you need to start taking uh you, you being, being a little more appreciative about the things that we offer around here and how many times do i have to tell you remind you to take out the trash but how many times now, when it, when are you going to start being more responsible now how many of you know kids who stop all of a sudden and, st and say something like this Hmm. Now that you put it that way, that makes a whole lot of sense. You know, I hadn't thought about it that way before, but now, you know, and listen, there's going to be some big changes around here with my behavior, and, and what were those chores again, and I'm going to get right, to, uh, raise your hand if you've ever seen a kid just suddenly become responsible because they got a good lecture. But how many of you have a friend, relative, or neighbor who actually believes you can lecture a kid into being responsible? That if you can just find the right words, the kid will stand up straight and say, I see the light. <laughs> okay, they're out there, right? Those parents who believe that that works.